Hi, I'm Mark and this is Tom and we're here at the Gear for Music studio looking at the brand new range of Heartwood Sonata FX guitars. They look pretty special and they sound pretty unique too. Tom, can you tell me what's inside the guitar that gives it this unique sound? So these have actually got a microphone in the body chamber that's rooted into a twin speaker mounted just underneath the bridge. Uh, and this allows you to blend in affected signals with your overall acoustic tone, so that even when entirely unplugged, you can get affected acoustic tones. That sounds pretty complicated though. How do you control this signal? It's actually more simple than you would think. So the top two knobs here on your control panel let you add chorus, <laughs> delay, <laughs> and even reverb. And the, the beauty of this being split between two controls is that you can add two of these at any given time to get really affected acoustic sounds. So everything about the design of these guitars has been engineered to lean in and enhance these affected properties. So one of the first things you'll notice is the contouring with a specially shaped sound hole. Now this is because your primary sound hole in the body is going to project sound outwards. But what this does is it provides you with an immediate frame of reference so that you can instantly hear how the affected tones meld and balance with your completely dry acoustic tone. And the beauty of the two knob design is that this isn't a simple on off for each of these effects. You can really get hands on and dictate the level of each and really customize your acoustic sound. So Mark, if you want to kind of talk us through it from scratch, if you just want to hold the volume button on to turn on the guitar, and then if you just want to play it dry as a, an immediate frame of reference. Great, and if you now turn the FX module on by holding down the volume button, and obviously maybe you wanted to just expand what's there a little bit, but you could try adding a bit of reverb. Yeah, let's add that about halfway, see what it sounds like. Yeah, getting a real nice presence there, nice little bounce back. Yeah, just add some body to the sound. Um, if you wanted to lean into that kind of thickening effect, maybe you could try adding a touch of chorus. Nice and shimmery, isn't it? Mm. Obviously, yeah, thickens what's there, but if you wanted to lean into maybe more elongating the sound, you could try switching the chorus to the delay. Yeah, we'll just... Nice, getting some good repeats there. Mm. And just to showcase kind of the sheer versatility of the effects on offer, if you wanted to maybe crank them all a little bit and just showcase the more extreme side. Yeah, so we'll probably go a bit full whack on chorus, uh, leave reverb where it is, and uh, just see what it sounds like. Mm. I think that just kind of highlights the convenience of this. Um, a lot of the time when I want to play, I, I do just grab an acoustic. I, I can't be bothered lugging my pedal board out or getting the DAW set up. And it's just having the option, quite literally at your fingertips, to add in those effects. And then the ability to balance them as well means that this is a really useful songwriting tool Definitely. to just instantly add a little bit of depth and dimension to your regular acoustic tones. <laughs> So those are the dry effects built into the guitar, but obviously these are electroacoustics. So what happens when we plug these into an amplifier and run the effects over the top of it? Yeah, so I'll get that plugged in now and we can see what that sounds like. And just to be clear, we're just going straight from the guitar to the amplifier. There's no other pedals or modifiers here. Yeah, so I'll just show you what the preamp sounds like on its own, no effects. That sounds like this. Very clean, very pure. Yeah, and this is where 
you unlock the full range of the control panel. So you have bass and treble for two-band EQ, mm -hmm. uh, your volume, uh, but you can also use the effects over the top of that. So you can add, again, a touch of chorus. Maybe a bit of reverb. And this is great because it just still gives you access to those effects in a simple guitar and amp setup. And it's going to be really useful for, for performing on stage. I mean, you only have to bring a guitar. You don't have to lug around all that kit with you. That's exactly right. I mean, for people like buskers, for people doing open mics, um, anyone really that wants to reduce the amount of gear that they want to bring to a gig, you can just rock up with a guitar. Mm -hmm. If you're going to an amp or a PA, the eyed straight in, you still have access to those effects. So it's the ultimate tool for practicality, really. You can reduce the amount that you need to bring while still having access to chorus, delay, and reverb. Yeah, definitely. So we've seen the dry effects built into the guitar and we've seen that they create a wide range of usable sounds and that's great for inspiring songwriters and getting performers out onto the stage. But these are part of a range of guitars, so what's the difference between those guitars out there, Tom? It's mainly body shape and size. So you've got the thin lines with a slightly different sound hole placement that yeah. might be better for electric oriented sort of players. Yeah. Um, you've got the concerts with a single cutaway which gives you easier access to the upper frets. Uh, and you've got the jumbos, like the one in your hand, which give you added low-end presence. Um, they all come with the same flame maple top um, with the lovely leaf inlays on the neck, which gives a really premium look to the guitars. Um, Sitka Spruce is the wood choice for the body, which gives you quite a warm uh, mid-range um, and nice articulation. Um, and obviously they all come with the added benefit of the, of the built-in effects. Yeah, so no matter what style of guitar you're used to, be that electric or a large acoustic, there's one of these that would suit your playing style. It's just tailoring it, yeah, to, to preference. Um, but as I say, they all come with that added practicality of having easy, accessible access to effects that normally you need outboard gear to unlock. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Tom. Well, this has been a quick rundown of the Sonata effects guitars. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below telling us which one you would prefer. Thanks for watching.